Hi everybody, in this video we will study in detail about the Central Vigilance Commission, the history of this, the composition and the functions of this commission. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to News Canvas. So Central Vigilance Commission, it is the apex vigilance institution free of control from any executive authority monitoring all the vigilance activity under the central government and advising various authorities in the central government organizations in planning, executing, reviewing and reforming their vigilance work. So vigilance basically means what? It is to ensure clean and prompt administrative action towards achieving efficiency and effectiveness of the employees in a particular organization, right? And lack of vigilance leads to waste, loss and economic decline. So the CVC was set up by the government in February of 1964 on the recommendations of the Committee on Prevention of Corruption headed by Shri K. Santhanam. So in 2003, the parliament enacted the CVC Act conferring a statutory status to the CVC. So mind you, CVC is not controlled by any ministry or department. It is an independent body and it is only responsible to the parliament. So let's have a look at the history of CVC. So the special police establishment, which was set up in 1941 by government of India, the functions were to investigate cases of bribery and corruption in transactions with war and supply department of India during World War II. So even after the end of this war, the need for central government agency to investigate cases of bribery and corruption by central government employees was really felt. So the Delhi Special Police Establishment Act was therefore brought into place in 1946. Now after this act, the superintendence of SPE was transferred to the Home Department and its functions were enlarged to cover all the departments of government of India. So the jurisdiction of SPE was extended to all union territories and the act provided for its extension to state with the consent of the state government. So in 1963, SPE was authorized to investigate uh, offences, different different offences under the uh, Indian Penal Code and uh, 16 of the Central Act uh, under the Prevention of Corruption Act of 1947. So there was a growing need felt for a central police agency at disposal of the central government which could investigate not only cases of bribery and corruption but also violation of central fiscal laws major frauds in the government, uh, passport frauds, crimes on the high seas, crimes on the airlines, etc. So on the recommendation of Santhanam Committee on Prevention of Corruption, the CBI, the Central Bureau of Investigation, was established by a, a resolution of Ministry of Home Affairs in 1963 and later it was transferred to Ministry of Personal, which uh, currently enjoys the uh, attached office status. So in 1964, the Central Vigilance Commission was set up by the government on the recommendation of Santhanam Committee to advise and guide central government agencies in the field of vigilance. Let's look at the composition of the CVC. So it, it is a multi-member body and it consists of one chairperson, the Central Vigilance Commissioner and two members, that is the Vigilance Commissioners. And they are appointed by the president on recommendation of a committee that consists of the prime minister as a chairperson, the minister of home affairs, leader of opposition of the uh, Lok Sabha as the members. So the term of this office is four years or 65, whichever is earlier, 65 years of age. So in 2013, the parliament enacted the Lokpal and Lokayukta Act of 2013, right? And on the issue of overlap of jurisdiction between CVC and Lokpal and Lokayuktas, because they also come under the same ambit, the Commission has communicated the suggestions to the department related Parliamentary Standing Committee on Personal Public grievance, uh, Grievances. So the CVC has its own secretariat, chief uh, technical examiners wing and a wing of commissioners for departmental inquiries. For, for investigation work although, CVC has to depend on CBI or the uh, Chief Vigilance Officers. Now let us look at the functions of CVC. So it receives the uh, complaints on corruptions and misuse of office and to recommend appropriate action is its main function. So following uh, institutions, uh, bodies or person can approach the CVC. That is a central government, the Lokpal and the whistleblower. 
So whistleblower is basically a person who uh, could be an employer of a company or a government agency or an outsider, basically who discloses information to the public or uh, some higher authority about any wrongdoing that is happening in the system. So it is not an investigation agency. Please remember, CVC is not an investigation agency. It it either gets the inve investigation done uh, through CBI or the chief vigilance officers. So it is empowered to inquire into offenses um, that have been committed under the Prevention of Corruption Act of 1988. And its annual report gives the details of the work that is being done by the commission uh, and points out to the failures of the system or corruption that is happening in the various government departments. So improvements and preventive measures are also selected in the report. That was all about the Central Vigilance Commission. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, follow News Canvas on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you and have a great day.